What are your thoughts on the practice? How'd it go today? Typical first practice. I think we're, um, you know, we've, we've been here one season, so there's a natural tendency to compare it to what you've seen. It's night and day from last year. And it's able to have some returners, guys that understand. Uh, um, early practices is really where the China trip really helps us too. Because, you know, we, we have, there's 10 practices in four games. You know, there's there's a, uh, a standard of, of expectancy now. I've got an idea what to expect. There's no secrets. Last year, I'd never seen them play before. And people say, well, how it's, what do you think is so-and-so, so-and-so? Until we played a game in uh, November, I had never seen the, those guys ever play. I never recruited them, so I, I wouldn't know. But these guys are much further along. Um, uh, I, I, you know, certain guys really stood out to me today. I had good practices. But, um, you know, we're going to be a good team. You know, it's, it's a process. But one thing about a process, there is no progress without a process. So everybody's got to go through it, you know, regardless of who you are. Uh, unless you're Duke and have five starters back, or uh, SMU who has almost their entire team back, um, you know we're replacing a lot of guys. You know Ronnie Johnson uh, redshirted last year. Dawson sat out last year. Uh, Xavier Dupree uh, is coming off an injury in junior college, so we've got a lot of guys that just need to play. But I um, I love the enthusiasm. I love the uh, effort, and I loved our leadership. So. It's good practice. Can you get, get a sense of what's going to be a strength of the team this year? Yeah, I think our guards um, and our versatility. We have really good depth. We have really good depth at the guard position. Um, you know, and being able to play guys at right positions. You know, poor Chicken last year played center at 194 pounds. That wasn't fair to him. Uh, he gets to move back to the four spot. And that gives us great depth because he and Devante will share that spot. Um, now you have Kyle Meyer and Burt at the five. But you know, that's, that's the advantage of being able to go out and recruit. You know, we, we were able to get a, a, a team that looks like a basketball team now. I mean, we've got some, we've got two fives, we've got uh, three fours. Uh, I thought Xavier Dupree looked good today. Um, Dotson and Barnes, uh, Rob Gray, Eric Weary uh, on the wings, and then you have Galen and um, Ronnie. LJ at the point, so I think our depth and our versatility, we can we can play big, we can be a big team, or we can be a small team. I think it, it, over the course of a the year, there's going to be situations that require both. How much are you thinking about the opening of the Basketball Development Center? To getting closer. Oh, excited. Very excited. I say, uh, it's something that really should have been done at least a decade ago. Um, it shows you how far behind we are other colleges. But um, the fact that the fact that uh, that's right around the corner is already helping our recruiting. You know, we got two commitments already for November, and a big reason why. And it just makes me beam when I hear guys say, "Well, why did you choose Houston?" They say, "Because of the facilities." I said, "Oh, I, I would have never thought that." Uh, but that just tells you how impressive that building is. And, um, you know, there's. The basketball program here can be special. I mean, we, we can win at a high level here uh, over time. Obviously, the process has to occur first, but um, moving into the development center, and that's what it is. It's not really a practice facility. It's a development center. And then, uh, obviously, the renovation of, of high of hot lines, uh, as we go about the process. Uh, those, those two things uh, make a huge difference. Well, that, that development center is really a game changer. Thanks, Coach. Thank you very much, Coach.